Now let's look at how to use a trigonometric function to actually find out information about a right triangle. Okay, so here is a right triangle, and I want to find side x. Okay, so find x. And if you ever want to find parts of a triangle, you need at least three parts that are given. So we know two angles and the side. In fact, the hypotenuse. So what we need to do is to find x, we have to think about uh, the, the angle that we're given. Um, by the way, since we're given two angles, we're in fact, we in fact know the other angle because they have to add to 180. So if you wanted, uh, you could say that this angle is 68 degrees. It has to be. So in fact, we know more information than is given um, very easily. Uh, but in fact, let's say we want to use the 22 degree angle. We have to pick which angle we want to use. So let's use the 22 degree angle. And in relation to the 22 degree angle, uh, I need to work with the, the x side, which in relation to 22 degrees, this is what we would call the adjacent side, and the 7, which is the hypotenuse. Those are the two things that we'd be using. So I need a trig function that relates adjacent and hypotenuse. So cosine is what comes to mind. So we need cosine of some angle equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So in this case, cosine of 22 degrees equals the adjacent side x divided by the hypotenuse of 7. All right, so if you'll be using your calculator for this problem, so make sure that it's in degree mode, not rad mode. And now we need to solve this equation for side x, and that's pretty easy to do. Multiply both sides by 7. And so we can see that side x is 7 times the cosine of 22 degrees. Okay, so that's not too difficult. So let's go back up here in our picture and label that. Okay, so x is 7 times the cosine of 22 degrees. We'll, we'll actually round that in a minute to figure out an approximate length. Uh, what, what I want to point out though is notice that it's this side that's adjacent to 22 degrees happens to be the hypotenuse times the cosine of that angle. That's always true. If you have a right triangle, here's alpha, this is the hypotenuse, then this side is always going to be the hypotenuse times the cosine of that angle, alpha. Because it, cosine because it's, this side is adjacent to that angle. So you could always write this side as the hypotenuse times something. You can always write this side as the hypotenuse times something as well. And since this side is opposite angle alpha, you could write it as hypotenuse times the sine of alpha. So you could check that. If you look at this example, this side would be 7 times the sine of 22 degrees. If you were to verify it using the same sort of logic we used down here. Sine of an angle equals opposite over hypotenuse, and then solve for this side. Okay, So keep that in mind. It's just, uh, it's just a quick way to know about some triangles. Okay. All right, so 7 times the cosine of 22 degrees. Let's plug that in our calculators. And it looks like we get approximately 6.5. Okay, so hypotenuse is 7. This side is approximately 6.5. Uh, you could also figure out this side by using the 68 degree angle. So let's look at how to do that. In relation to the 68 degree angle, I would want to use x and 7 because those are the two pieces again. So let's, let's get rid of all this blue stuff. Okay, let's focus on uh, just what we're doing now. If I use the 68 degree angle, the x is the opposite, the 7 is the hypotenuse. So I need opposite and hypotenuse. So I could say sine of an angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case, the sine of 68 degrees is the opposite x over the hypotenuse 7. So x is going to be 7 times the sine of 68 degrees. And if you plug that in your calculator, you will also get approximately 6.5. So there's two different ways to calculate the same side using two different angles.